guys, this video is going to be all about shaving my face and I just want to debunk a few little things that are not true first. So, um, I've been shaving my face for quite a while now. I read online that really famous people in like old Hollywood would shave their face and that would basically just get all of the dead skin cells off and then you would have new beautiful like glowing cells on the very surface. So I am not wearing any facial makeup today and I hope you can see that my skin looks pretty good today. Every time that I do my whole shaving face routine the next day is just a gray skin day and I did it last night. In this video I'll be talking about what I use to shave my face and kind of a routine because I don't just shave my face and then that's it. Like I like to do certain steps in a certain order for a certain purpose so I will be talking about that in this video and then also at the end I will be doing a little bit of a demo. After I got off of Accutane I had a lot of hyperpigmentation and I knew that there was something that I had to do to just get all that gone because it's just not cute. It was very red and my skin tone was very blotchy because of the hyperpigmentation. So that's when I started shaving my face and it has honestly made such a huge difference. I do it once a week. I've at least been doing it for like a few months and I feel like it has really helped my skin. So whenever I first said that I was going to shave my face, my mom was like, oh my gosh, you're going to grow a beard. It's going to grow back thicker and darker. And to be honest, that's just not true. Also, I knew that I wanted to start shaving my face for hyperpigmentation because I have seen results in a scar that I used to have on my arm. So in middle school, um, I had a three barrel waver sitting on my counter and it's basically just a hot tool that you can wave your hair with and it opens like this. So it was sitting on my counter like this and I like bent over to like look in the mirror like to do my eyelashes or something, I don't know. And um, you know how like pain is psychological so I don't know why but my body just like didn't react to it and instead of feeling pain to know that I was burning my arm on the three barrel waver. It was the smell of burning skin. So I don't know how long my arm had been in contact with the heat, but it was quite a while because when I pulled back, my arm was like really burnt. And I used to have a scar right here. It was about like an inch and a half long. It was so dark and it was very noticeable. And then whenever I started shaving my arms, like you cannot even see the scar now. And to me, that was just like okay girl we gotta start shaving our face because these hyperpigmentation spots need to be gone like yesterday so yeah I started shaving my face and it was amazing um the razors that I use are from BioSwiss and they just come in a little pack like this um they're actually called stainless steel eyebrow razors or bikini line trimmers and the one that I am using in the demo is this one. Um, you can use these a few times each, but whenever they get dull, then your skin just won't feel as fresh. So I will maybe use them like mm, twice or like three times, and then I'll just throw them away and um, get a new one. Um, they usually always come three in a pack. These are only a dollar, and I've got these. I don't know if you guys like have this where you live, but we have like big lots around here and then Christmas tree shops. I don't really know how you would describe those stores, but they have some like really cheap beauty tools and so um, yeah, these are only a dollar, but I cannot find these online, so I'm going to link some that you can get at Sally's um, in the description. And the ones from Sally's I have personally used before, so that's why I'm going to recommend them to you guys. But the reason why I do use these over those is because these work exactly the same, and these are only a dollar for three, and the ones from Sally's are six dollars for three. So um, basically, I just use those because they're cheaper and because I do go through them pretty fast. But like I said, I I do only uh, do this whole routine once a week so if one lasts for like three weeks then this whole pack is gonna last for nine weeks so it never really gets that expensive so yeah and in the demo I'll be showing you guys how I use those so where this routine can kind of get expensive is with the exfoliator that I use but 
do not be afraid. So I use K Somerville Exfolicate. I would just love if I could get a lifetime supply of this. This stuff is amazing. I highly recommend it to anybody. Um, they do have a sensitive one, so if you do have sensitive skin, then maybe you would want to check that out. But I just use the regular one because my hyperpigmentation is really bad and my skin is really normal. Like, it's not dry, it's not oily, it's just normal. So, yeah, so this is the 2 fluid ounce size and you can get it at Sephora. I love it because whenever you are going to shave your face and you're getting off all of those dead skin cells, then your skin is really exposed and I like to exfoliate my skin to make sure that there's no dirt or oil or anything that's going to just trap in those new cells and make any pimples or problems. So I really, really love this stuff. Um, this stuff is $85 and I know that that's expensive, but this stuff honestly lasts like forever. You can get the 2 fluid ounce which is $85 or you can get the um, half fluid ounce which is $24. And you can get this just in the little checkout section of Sephora. I know that this is like so small for $24, but honestly I've had this size since Christmas and it still has product inside of it. Um, I just wanted to use the bigger one so you guys could like really see what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I just really love that product and again, I really highly recommend it. Since whenever you um, have, first of all, exfoliated your face a little bit with the razor and then you are really exfoliating your face with something like this, um, it says this is an intensive exfoliating treatment. So your skin is going to be very vulnerable and you need to moisturize it and just really take care of it. So what I like to do is after I do that, then I will apply a face mask. So my favorite brand of face masks are actually from Lush. Lush face masks are absolutely amazing. I would definitely compare this to a more expensive brand. These are only $7.50. So this one is the main one that I use. I love this one. This is Odifix and it is is just amazing so it looks like this and in the demo you guys will see me smelling this product and honestly just dying the smell of this product is insane it is so good mm, I love this stuff it smells like banana nut bread I love banana nut bread I love things that smell like bananas and it is just amazing the first time I smelled this I think my life changed like forever um, it says get your oat fix with a blend of bananas, vanilla, ground almonds, and oats to cool and nourish irritated skin. So it does feel really nice after you exfoliate your skin and it just really deeply moisturizes your face. Um, it makes my skin feel very plump and just like juicy after I wash it off. I'll honestly leave this on for like two hours because I'll like forget that it's on there. That is basically my routine of how I shave my face and what I do after it to kind of try to combat any redness or irritation or even blemishes. And then after I wash this off, then I'll just follow up with my uh, regular skincare routine. So that's basically the rundown of how and why I shave my face. I feel like it has really helped with the evenness of my skin tone and just with everything. It has made my life better. I like it a lot. So after this, like I said, there is going to be a demo and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys! So I am going to go ahead and get started with shaving my face. As you will be able to tell in most of these clips, I do mainly focus on my cheeks because that is where I have the most hyperpigmentation and unevenness. I go whichever way with the razor, side to side, up and down, whatever. I touch up a little bit on the forehead and between the brows. And then, girl, you know I gotta touch up that mustache a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I just make sure that everything is very smooth and if it's not I will go over it again and I like to just make everything very very smooth and nice. If I use a new razor then it's a lot easier to do that but this one I have used a few times and then I make really dumb faces. So after everything is smooth I go ahead and move on to my Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I love this product. It is definitely a holy grail for me. 
So I just wet my face a little bit. Usually I do this in the shower, but for the sake of this video, I am doing it at the sink. And then I noticed that obviously this is new and there's a foil sill on it. I'm really dumb and I did not know that at first. So as you can see, you just need a little bitty, bitty, bitty amount of this, just like a pea size amount, and that goes over your whole face. So um, whenever I'm in the shower and I do this, I usually start a song, and then 30 seconds into the song, I will stop massaging my skin. I just really try to get this in the areas that I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, and yeah. After I'm done applying that all over my face, I will wait about two minutes, which is about the length of a song so if you start a song and you massage for 30 seconds and leave on for two minutes it's perfect so then i am just washing it off with a washcloth obviously in the shower i would just go underneath the faucet and that is pretty much it it feels so fresh and amazing after you take it off your skin just feels like cooling Here I'm just patting my skin dry and I'm going to prepare for the mask. So this is Odafix by Lush. Smells absolutely amazing. And it's so moisturizing. So it is very thick consistency. You cannot apply it with a, a brush because I am someone that likes to apply masks with brushes. But this one you do have to get kind of dirty and use your hands. So I just apply this all over my skin. It just makes my skin glow. And then I just leave that on my skin for really however long. Like it doesn't really matter that much to me. And it's amazing. So then I just clean my razor a little bit. Um, you can spray it with some alcohol. Just wash it off with water really. Whatever you want to do. And then I just leave that on and whenever I rinse it off, I will be fresh and glowy as a daisy. So there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.